Hey makers, this is Truveen and today let's talk about one of the interesting power effects expression which is the patch expression. I have received lots of requests about the patch expression. What do we mean by patch? What is the main use of patch function? Let me try to explain you that thing in detail over here. So we will make this video very simpler and very easy manner. So first of all, let me talk about that thing. Sometimes what happen here is, let's say you have any data sources and you want to create your record or you want to update your existing record. At that time, you need to use patch function. Patch function can be used in both the cases. Either you can create the new entry or you can update the existing entry. For that, only minor difference is there in the patch function. Let's talk about both of this scenario in detail. So first, what we will do is, this is my employee master list. In this list, I am going to create one record using patch function. So first of all, let me just take one button control and on top of button control, we will write our patch expression. So this is the button control. And now let's write a formula on select of the button control. So to start with patch function, we need to use the formula patch and inside the patch, the first parameter is your data source. So let's provide the data source here. Like in our case, the data source is my employee master list. So I am providing that list. Then you need to provide a record. Record means if you want to create a new record or if you want to update your existing record. So the second parameter has the major difference in terms of new record creation or updating the existing record creation. So let's say if you want to create a new record, always use defaults and inside that provide the name of your data source. So my data source name is employee master or you can just copy this exact same thing which is available in the source. Just provide the exact same thing here in the default. So when I pass the default parameter, which means that I want to create a new record. Okay. Now you need to provide the update parameter. So in update, you just need to provide which are all the columns you want to add in your creation of the record. So let's say I want to add employee ID, email, title, job title, manager email, manager name, everything. So I need to provide the value of each column over here. So let's say first I am providing the name of employee name. So you just need to search for EMP and you can always have suggestion inside your syntax. So employee name. So let me just provide my name over here. Uh, Dhruvin Shah. Then let's say you want to provide employee ID, which is stored as a title column. So I'm just providing title as E007. Then let's say I want to provide my job title. So I just want to provide job title of CEO of Power Platform Trainings. Then I just want to provide here a value of uh, manager email and manager name. I just want to keep it blank. So I'm not adding anything here. I just want to add now email column. So email, you need to add just email address. I'm just adding here abc.xyz.com abc at xyz.com but let's complete the bracket and let's format our code. So the code will look like this. Patch the record into employee list with the new item and these are the value of the different columns. And now let's play this button and click on this button. So I just created one record and immediately that record appears here means that record is created and let's go to the list and refresh over here and here as well we can see the exact same record that we just created. This is really cool. We added our record with the patch function. Now how patch function can be used as an update function. So let's see that. So let me take one more button over here. So let's say for an example, I am taking one more button control and 
now i am just renaming this as update and now we will use the patch function so let's say for an example i want to do one thing that let's say whatever record is selected let's say i'm selecting this record which means that i want to up update e007 let's say i want to update this one then i'm selecting that and i will just update this one or let's say for an example in update you need to pass the existing record which you want to update as a parameter there are different ways to fetch your existing record i'm showing you the different techniques here so let's say for an example this is my update function and now i want to use patch function so i will use patch as always the first parameter is your data source so we will provide employee master and now here is a difference we need to provide the record so either what you can do is let's say if you have some reference control like this is my gallery and in my gallery i provided employee master as a data source and when i select e007 i just want i i will provide that whatever item is selected from the gallery i just want to update that so i can write like this so let me just check the gallery id gallery 3 gallery 3 dot selected so i am passing the existing record over here with this technique and after that let's say i need to provide which is the thing which i want to update so let's say i want to update employee name so instead of uh, let's say uh, instead of dhruvin shah i just want to update as dhruv shah so i'm just doing like this and finishing my bracket you can pass multiple columns as well like let's say i need to update employee id as well so i will just provide my title column and i can just provide like e triple zero e four times zero seven i just want to update like this okay so what happened here is what it will do is when i select this record and click on update basically it will update this record over here so what i need to do is let me just select this record i selected this and now i'm clicking on update so what happened here is it will update and you can see this value is updated as well as if i'm going to the data source you can see that drusha's record is being updated okay now let's say for an example if you don't have any reference control okay and you just want to fetch provide the record over here which one you want to update then you can use the lookup function as well to fetch your record so let's say you don't know that uh, you know what record you want to update so let's say you just can use like this lookup in lookup we you need to provide your data source like employee id employee master is your data source name then uh, which column uh, based on which column you want to find that so let's say you want to find out where employee id is equal to e005 let's say so you can just write a condition like uh, title equals e005 and that's it so what happened here is it will go to your employee master table look at the title column and look at this column e005 and provide that entire record as a reference over here and after that you can provide the parameter which are the thing you want to update so let's say for an example in my case it, this is sam dev so i just provide a name here instead of sam i am just providing the name as saumya saumesha and uh, i just want to update the job title as well so i am just providing job title and job title i am just updating as a programmer and now what i will do is uh, i will just update that thing i'm clicking on this button and it updated that stuff let me go to my database and let's check the record so let's refresh it and you can see that the employee name is changed to employee Shah, uh, Saumya Shah and job title is now programmer. So this is how the patch function will work. 
So if I conclude everything, if you want to create a new record, always use default parameter here. If you want to update the record, simply you need to pass your existing record over here and then whatever the parameter you want to update, you need to use that. Obviously, the patch function has the different aspects. Like currently, we I explained this video with a very simple example of single line of text column. But let's say if you have some sort of choice column, lookup column or people picker column, mostly what happen here is this JSON value will be uh, passed differently over here. Definitely in upcoming video, I will try to cover more complex cases. But this is the basic thing. This is how the patch function will work. Hope this video helps you and values your time. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. If you are looking for any training or paid consultation, this is my website. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and other social media handle. All the links are available on the channel cover right page. With this, this is Thruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.